welcome once again to the channel like we said we are always always going to deliver you with what with questions that when you go through them you are going to pass your work your bc that is my main focus that's our main focus here both myself and you we have to make that what that target to make our grade so today we go to question 1c of our practical question 1d question 1d of our practical and question 1d is about conduction it's about conduction we have uh, ways of transferring heat we have three ways that which heat can be transferred it is transferred by conduction through solid convection through liquids then radiation through what through vacuum so but this experiment is basically about i don't want to go much into but this experiment here is basically about what? conduction the transfer of heat through what through metals or solids now let's look at the question and now go deep into it let's look at the question and go deep into it in the diagram in the diagram below or the diagram below is an illustration of an experiment that was carried out in the experiment three pins one two and three were fixed with candle wax onto a metal bar and one end of the metal bar was heated by means of boiling water it was heated by means of and once heat is transferred once the metal is heated the heat is what is transferred through the metal let's see good and that's by conduction good a b and c are thermometers inserted in holes along the bar to measure the temperatures of the various or the temperatures at various work points study the diagram once again carefully and answer the questions that follows so let's go back and study the question carefully when you study the diagram carefully you can see we have our beaker fitted into it as well it's a metal bar applying heat to water the water is boiling the heat will be transferred through the metal and that is what is happening here now let's go right away and answer the questions question one b i says that suggest an aim for the experiment what is the aim of the experiment this experiment is to show that heat is transferred through metal by conduction an experiment to show that heat is transferred through metal by conduction so we go straight away and write what write our answer to question one d question one d i question one d i question again i read a question again so just an a for the experiment is to show that experiment to show or to demonstrate to show that heat is transferred is transferred through it is transferred through metals through metals by conduction it is transferred through metals by what by conduction i'm going to show that heat is transferred through metals by conduction by conduction then i i i i i i so d i i i i, I say so what is the temperature of boiling water the temperature of boiling water is obvious. The temperature of boiling water is what? It's 100 degrees Celsius. So what's the temperature of boiling water? We just write 100 degrees Celsius. Water boils are what? At 100 degrees Celsius, STP. Standard temperature and what? And pressure. Water boils are that. Good. Now state the observation that will be made about the pins 1, 2, and 3. What will be the observation? What we see about the pins in the diagram? Now, as the heat is being transferred, what will happen is that the candle wax will melt. Then once it melts, what happens? The pins will begin to work. So that will be the observation. So observation here, I, 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 is that the pins, the pins one, two, and three, one, two, and three, falls off as the candle wax melts as the candle wax does what melts so that is our observation that observation we will make about the what about the pin one two and three show that we have that the pins will work will fall as the candle does what as the candle melts then iv state observation that will be made about the temperatures recorded by the thermometers a b and c 
of the temperature at A, B, and C, that is um, IV, the temperature recorded by the thermometers at A, B, and 1, B, and C. At A, B, and C, this is what happens. The temperature at A is the, will have what? Will be the highest. So the temperature at A is what? Is the highest, followed by B, followed by what? C. What are the transfer? A is the first person to receive the heat before it transfers to what? To B and C. So A will have the what? The highest what? Temperature. So from this experiment, from this, you are going to say that state and record, state observation that will be made about the temperatures recorded at what? At thermometers A and B. So the same thermometer. Thermometer A has the highest the highest temperature temperature followed followed by followed by B then followed by B then C followed by B then C so that is about that now state how heat from the sun is transmitted to the earth how is heat from the sun getting to what to earth and that is also a means of heat transfer and it's transferring through what through vacuum and I just said that there are three ways by which it is transferred either through solid liquids and what and vacuum and when heat is transferred through vacuum, it's called what? radiation. Or heat is transferred through vacuum by what? By radiation. So the V aspect of this, let me put the V here. The V aspect of this, very simple, practical, states how heat from the sun is transmitted to the earth. And that is by what? By radiation. Radiation. The transfer of heat through what? Through vacuum. That will be our answer for the physics is very short, very short and understandable. Our practical we have done today is about the conduction, the transfer of heat in what in solids. And we are saying that per the diagram we have there, once the water begins to boil at 100 degrees Celsius, what happens? The metal begins to transfer the heat, transfer the heat, and the pins at one, two, and three. Because of the heat, the candle wax will melt, and when that melts, the pins will begin to fall. Because for that tells us that really the metal is conducting. But if it is not going through, the, the pins will not work, will not fall. Good. So very, very important to note that. Then the thermometer A records the what? The highest temperature, followed by B, then what? Then C, then radiation. Very easy, practical, very, very simple. Very, very, I hope you get the best out of this. Also go and look at it in different different forms. Like I said earlier, I don't want to talk much here, but the question can be twisted in so many ways. So you understand the conduction experiment or the conduction before you can do this. Thank you very much once again. I'm very glad to be here with you all. I know that with this, with this, and I promise, once you follow us, I'm going to make your work your grade one. You will make the grade one in the science this year. If you follow all that we are saying and practice more, you are left a few days to start the class. So learn, be learning. Now is the time for you to work, to learn, learn and learn and learn. We do your revisions and we are going to make this. These are the steps I'm going to give you. So the approach I'm going to give you. I'll be dropping some tips more on how to do what, how to pass these bees. And I've said this agenda here. Thank you very much for joining this. Remember, if you like this, you subscribe, then you share, then you also comment.